love you. Look at it. Officially landed. Yeah. How's it pronounced? Falma. Yeah, Falma. Falma, Jamaica. It's pretty cool right now. I guess it's, this is a later off time than yesterday. People getting off the boat very early yesterday. Yeah. So right now it's 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock in Jamaica. So I'm not sure, you know, each port time is different and things of that nature. So. Yesterday we could have gone for like eight or nine. So. Morning, am I gonna be YouTube famous? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, so, it's pretty cool to be out here. The weather is fine. I like that the clouds are in the sky because that can offer some type of shade right now. As long as it doesn't rain, yeah. the clouds are fine. Kind of keeps everything cool right now because 10 is kind of late i guess and you know the sun can heat up at any moment See the sun? Sure. it'll probably be empty when we come back so we can take a picture down yeah everybody wants it right now so i think when we get back i'm guessing this is the way Oh man. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah,
They said the the KFC here tastes better. I can imagine. Yeah. Today we call it a bend on there Wednesday. If you come from like Kingston, Clarendon, whatever place they come from, yeah. make a sale in the market. And most of their high temp is placed on the ground. So the ladies with the shorter skirt get a better discount. I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay then. I'm serious. No different. No different, right? Yeah, man. And where is that? We're from Rhode Island. Oh. I was asking you, uh, you said nine miles, how far? Nine miles? Yeah, how far is that? Yeah, about an hour and 45 minutes. An hour and 45 minutes? Yeah. Wow. That's far. Because that people go that back bay to the runaway bay. And the mm. runaway bay is down, it's like an hour and 10 hours. That's very beautiful. Like yeah. And this is what people see every day. right now yeah they're over there cooking right now
Strawberry daiquiri. Yeah. And a good Miami advice. It has a lot of. Look at that Jamaica smile. Oh my God, Jamaica smile. I couldn't even remember what it was, but I did record the um, menu, so you can probably stop and see it on the menu. But it's actually pretty smooth. You can taste some liquor in it, but it's not like heavy. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. I like it. Up, y'all. Hey. So, yeah, we're at the actual, how's it pronounced? Ryu? Ryu Reggae. Ryu Reggae. We did our resort for the day here in Jamaica. This is St. James, I believe. No, we're in Montego Bay. Montego Bay? Oh, my fault. But no, we're in Montego Bay at the resort for a day. This is our excursion for a day. Um, it wasn't a lot of people that came with us. Uh, we're seeing a lot of people went to what the other place what was it called? It was Doctor something, I can't remember. I think that was the more popular one, but this small beach is really nice. It's kind of, I wouldn't say secluded, but it is really nice. It's a lot of it's people very who actually. small. <laughs> yeah, it's small. I think that's a good thing though. I mean, it's more, it's more what you need is right here. And I think a lot of people actually stay out here for resorts, even though we're doing it for a day. People actually stay out here and you know, spend their weekends or their, their week out here. And it's a good it's a good location. It's right here on the beach. It's beautiful. Um, the music's been nice. The drinks, my first drink has been good, so we're definitely gonna go back and see what the rest tastes like. And I'll show you guys a view of where we're sitting at right now currently. Right now we're in a like this designated smoking area. We didn't know until we sat down. Until we're about to move. Yeah. And the smell. I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but Peyton doesn't really care for the smell of smoke in general. And yeah, they're, they're over here blowing down for sure. <laughs> they're over here blowing down, but it's Jamaica. That's what you expect. I mean, that's kind of a part of their culture is smoking and their freedom to smoke. So you can't knock it really, but we're gonna move here in a little bit. And before we move, we'll definitely show you guys the view and let you guys see what it looks like. Topped it off with more liquor on top because you can tell that hey, the ones we probably had before wasn't that strong. So I can imagine these are probably going to be strong for sure. 
Don't miss, don't miss it. Don't miss it. I said don't mix it yet. I want to get a boomerang. Oh. Ready? Ready. One, two, three. so we can mix it. There we go. Pretty much tastes like my last drink. Yep. Mm -hmm. It tastes like gum a little bit to me. Taste the liquor in it. It's not top shelf at all. There's no top shelf. Uh, it's right bottom here. shelf. Bottom shelf. Yeah, so everything is bottom shelf. So the only liquor I recognize over there is Smirnoff vodka. That's the only thing I recognize over there. It doesn't taste bad. It's different though. It has a different taste to it. I haven't, I haven't tasted the lightest before. It's different, but it's not bad. Yeah, very, you don't have no top shelf look over there, so none of the Tito's and all that stuff. You're probably not gonna see it. This is the line for the jerk chicken. I'm gonna be in it for a little minute, too. I'm gonna be in it for a little minute. It's a nice area. A lot of people sitting at the pool. And then you got the, the water in the background, the beach, volleyball. It's really nice. It turned out being a lot of people. For it being such a small beach, there's a lot of people here. A lot. So that brings our Montego Bay. Uh, what is it? Resort for a day. Resort for a day. To an end. We got here around about what was it, 10 10 30 ish, 11 o'clock almost. Mm -hmm. And then we've been here just almost 3 30, and that's our pickup time 3 40 to 5. So we wanted to be kind of early on that. Definitely don't want to get left, no. and don't want to get stuck in Jamaica, and don't want to go through all that. So definitely be mindful what time your driver drops you off, and then be mindful what time you need to be picked up so you can be where you need to be and go back home. Overall, I think it was a great experience for a day. I mean, we got here at a decent time. It was still pretty cool outside. This is February, so the weather wasn't too hot. And even now, it's like 77 degrees right now, so it's pretty good. Um, I think our drinks, they tasted good. I can, and we talked they about it. Like you could taste the liquor, but we didn't spill anything. We had three, so. Which is crazy to me. Yeah, we had three drinks total. Would have had more, but after we ate, that was it. And yeah, we the were, sugar from the drinks made me look a little sluggish. So. Yeah, we were tired. Yeah. Definitely so tired. We almost both went to sleep. It was looking like old folks up there falling asleep at the chairs. But it um, 
Yeah, it was weird. So maybe it was like not the top chef drinks. No, it was the top chef. And definitely probably had low uh, alcohol percentages in them. So whatever, but um, the food it was okay. I definitely enjoyed that. Then we paid a total of seventy dollars each for this resort for a day for about five hours. Mm-hmm. No, we paid before. We paid seventy dollars up front. And then seventy dollars each when we got here. here. Yeah. So it's a total of one forty each. What I say is worth one forty. I mean, you get as much food as you want, as much alcohol as you want. So. Yeah. And also, I think this is all right. So yeah, pick y'all back up. <laughs> pick y'all Hi. back up in a little bit, y'all. Now we did the harmony last year, and it was the same size. Mm-hmm. Yes. I've only did Liberty. Oh, Liberty. How did you like the Liberty? It was nice. Yeah. It's smaller, of course, but right, it right. was nice. Right. Yeah, we have friends who talked about doing the Liberty next year for four nights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same exact itinerary I did four nights. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I think What's next your... for us is probably going to be Virgin. Hopefully, that's the next one for us. Virgin, the adults only one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. We're talking yeah. about Princess. Princess has one. Oh. Yeah. What's your favorite area in the ship? Oh, probably the solarium. Yes, solarium. Did you go to um, Central Park yet? Yes, we That's went on pretty. the first day. We ate at yeah. Jamie's. Yeah, with the Italian restaurant. What was it called? Jamie's. Jamie's. Amazing, yeah. amazing. We're going to Chops tonight in Central oh. Park. We're going tomorrow. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Chops. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, well, you're gonna love it. <laughs> We're gonna scroll over here, see if we can see anything we want to buy. Okay, guys. All right, see Bye-bye. you guys. Bye. Bye. What's going on? This your spot? Um, I need I need one of your bracelets. I don't know if I wanna go with this one or. Huh? Nice. No. Like your style. Yeah, I like the book. Black. What I got with this one on right now. Oh, See anything you like? Well, maybe the bracelet. Huh? Yeah. First bracelet you picked up, yeah, that one. Same price. Mm. Jamaica. Mm. That was cool. Please don't not record it. See shells in the bottom. Yeah, make sure you mute this video too, because uh, Watch your step. What did you say, I said, watch your step, almost. I thought it was a step, but it wasn't. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Where's that at? Right here. Oh, well, they have happy spouse, happy house. So they have lots of both. There we go, yeah. Happy spouse, happy wife. Yeah, we're gonna. No, that's pretty cool. No, that's cool. 
You see that says honeymoon in Jamaica? Welcome to Jam Rock, man. Welcome to Jam Rock. Oops. Excuse us. Right behind you. Right behind you. Excuse us. Excuse me. Right there. Where? Come on, this right here? Yeah. We'll try, we can. I'll try, I'll get some. Oh, it's about to be about 15 bucks usually. Usually. And that's on the low end. Well, I don't want anything, but I know you like axles, so. I don't know if you want to try it in Jamaica. Yeah, we can try it out in Jamaica. See what they got going on. I'm see what it tastes like. Like. Why it tastes like. So we got two red stripes. They didn't even check our ID at all. So they assume we're over 21, but it may not well, be a lot of- 18 plus. So. 18 plus, over Jamaica, so 18 plus. So 3.4% alcohol. So it's not nothing crazy. But you got a, uh, what was the flavor of yours? Melon. Mine's is lemon flavored. Lemon paradise. Lemon paradise. I think I like yours way better. Go ahead and we'll taste switch. that. I like yours better. You tasted mine already? Yeah. Oh, how am I supposed to know that? No, we can switch. It switch tastes, the rules. Oh, are we on virgins now? What? <laughs> and then also got oxtail. I mean, kind of how much it would have been in America. Usually in America, Oxtail can run you about 17 to 20 some dollars plus. This is quite a bit. This is, yeah, it's quite a bit for 20 bucks. So it's about what would be expected when it comes to Oxtail. So I'm not really tripping off that. But no, these are beers, like flavored beers, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I like, yeah, I like hers better than she liked mine better. So we switched out. So I'm going to go ahead and eat. So you guys know what I think of it. And then, cool. This should let you guys know how I felt about that oxtail. I don't really care for fresh. Uh, this is like a um, cabbage slaw. It's a slaw, not a yes yeah, slaw. Didn't care for that. It was fresh though. I took a bite of it. It's fresh. Didn't care for slaw. Never have. But look at that oxtail. For those who are curious, what oxtail looks like? That's what it looks like without the meat on it. Bones and all that rice and oxtail mix. It was good. It was lightly seasoned. It wasn't really a lot of seasoning, like salt on it, which is good. Um, didn't have to put a lot of salt in it, so it was fun. I really enjoyed it. We'll definitely get it again. And if you eat oxtails, you know they come with a price. And since you know we had to go back to the ship, there's no way I was gonna leave that oxtail on the bones at all for the price. And the fact that I can't take it on the ship, so. But no, it was good, it was worth it. Definitely like the end, the drinks are good too, so. Let's get ready to head back to the ship. Heading back to the ship. Overall, <laughs> how did you feel about time out here overall? I loved it. Going to the resort, and coming back to the port and getting to explore in a little bit. It was the best of both worlds. Yeah, I mean, it's a good time. I enjoyed my oxtail for sure. The food yeah. I just ate was really good. Um, the resort was great. Definitely want to go back to the resort again. A good time out there. People were nice. The pool was really nice. And it was... There she is. I was like, yeah, where did she go? I can barely see because of the glare, but I was like, where did she go? All right, here we go, back. So yeah, the resort was really nice. The pool was really nice. Um, yeah, the people were nice and out there, man. It was just a good time. They make sure they kept us entertained. 
And we just enjoyed it. Um, definitely we'll go back again. Yep. Definitely we'll go back again. Jamaica overall is a beautiful place. I mean, such a, I mean, it was very humbling, eye opening to see like how some places are still in the villa. Like those villas and small little huts, like shacks like that, those are still a thing in Jamaica. And uh, it was just amazing to see how far, you know, across the world we are and things are somewhat still the same in Jamaica. They kind of keep it, their traditions alive and everything. That's beautiful to see. So right now we're about to go through clearance to get back on the ship. Got the short seat pass. Uh -oh. um, you and who called up the person? Just had to show our IDs, make sure we get back on the ship, make sure we not no strangers on the ship, but put you guys down for a second. Gotta go through security. Yep, gotta go through security, so I'll put y'all down for a second. Made it back to the ship. You tired? And steps. <laughs> and steps got you tired. Yeah, but we're back on the ship, guys. Unfortunately, fortunately, we are. Happy to make it back safely. Unfortunately, we're not no longer about to be in Jamaica for a little while. But no, it was a good time. It was a good time. So, but yeah, no, we definitely enjoyed it out there. Enjoyed the food, enjoyed the people. Definitely recommend people go to Jamaica in general, even if it's not on a cruise. Definitely check it out. It's Caribbean night, so people are dressed in their Caribbean attire, going to the main, the main dining room, which we have not been to at all since night one. Since night one, food was trash. Very disappointing. But it's not just us that said it. A lot of people said it. A lot of people said it. The food has been trash. So right now we're at Sorrento. So bring those. Gonna check out their pieces. See what their pieces look like. I'm not gonna get none right now. She's gonna get some. I'm gonna get some later on tonight. Just to see what it's like. And like that, we are heading back to the room. Hi. Hi, man. Well. Yes, you're good. What's going on? Yeah, she had a good day. Amazing, yes. man, amazing. Yeah, you, you can shoot me. Oh, yeah. My boy Roel, man, he's been taking care of us the whole week. <laughs> yeah. Definitely appreciate David him. And Emmanuel. There we go, my guy. Thank you, Roel, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so, it's that guy Roel, been keeping our room nice and tidy all week. Definitely gonna give him a tip at the end of the week. Because if you do it day by day, and they expect it day by day. But if you do it at the end of the week, cool. So that's what we're gonna do. We're leaving a nice tip at the end of the week. We can definitely keep the room nice and tight. And yeah, Peyton got her pizza that I ate up till right before we got on the ship. So I'm good, she's hungry, so head to the room. Probably take a nap, chill out. And then uh, figure out what we do from there. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, so that's what Roel does for us. This is a little rat. Or a bunny, one of the two. Mm, look at the, get the face. Tell me what you guys think. I think it's a rat because of how wide it is right here. But a little mouse, we'll say mouse. Rats are very hood. Mouse are like, ah, eh, maybe cute. But no, that's what he does every day. Keep our room, make, makes our bed, cleans the bathroom. Everything else is pretty much on us. To keep clean. But yeah, other than that, he keeps it vacuumed and smelling good in here. But we'll pick you guys back up sooner or later. Who knows? This is day four. Day number four. I'm about to leave Jamaica. Have a sea day tomorrow on Thursday. Friday is the Bahamas. And then sadly, there's Saturday. The day will be go back to America unfortunately but yeah see you guys later peace bye thank you so much for watching please make sure you like comment subscribe and we'll see you next week for a day at sea bye